peace, 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 love, and light, family. I am back again with another daily for you guys. I'm going to do a general. Oh, sorry, sorry. I hit my phone. I'm going to do a general, and I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to look into your love life as well. Um, this is for the entire collective. Please know um, that this may or may not resonate with you, which is completely fine. Um, but if it does, feel free to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please don't forget. Um, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I appreciate you, and I thank you. All right. So... Normally, I already have the cards pulled, but I'm just going to pull them now. Okay, um, this is for the entire collective. What are some important messages for you guys? Okay, a card popped out. First card I have is it's the Eight of Earth, which is... Um, nutrients or nurturance it's nurturance not nutrients nurturance so hmm you may have been nurturing something uh, nurturing your garden for manifestation and now you will soon reap the benefits of your labor if you were redeeming the fruits of your labor or your flourishing or you you will all your hard work that you put into the groundwork the grounding you know the dedication you know everything that you put into um a project or something that you've been working on diligently um it's going to manifest it's going to bloom beautifully for you just like these flowers are blooming and it's going to be for your greatest and highest good. So that's great news. Keep going. Keep nurturing. Keep being a nurturer. You know, keep... Keep thinking positive. Keep going hard. You're doing the right thing. Financial abundance may be on the way as well. Okay. I didn't really get a chance to shuffle them. Next card, wow. So a lot of people may be experiencing transformation, stream transformation. Things may be, a lot of endings may be taking place. Things may be coming into, may be coming to an end for a lot of you all. But just know it's for the greater good. It's for a higher purpose. So, it may seem like things may be falling apart right now, but it's actually clearing the path or setting the stage for something better. For something better for you guys. So, fret not. Do not fret. That is for your greater good. Okay? The next card is the two of cycles. So, yeah, you may be, cycles are ending, or you may be beginning a new cycle. Maybe the ending and beginning of cycles for you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you may be new beginnings and endings. Endings and new beginnings. Child. 
child consciousness. Your inner child. That you're using to manifest the things that you want. The things that you need. So, nutri nutri nurturance, purifier. I'm sorry, I'm shaking the table. Nurturance, purifier, cycles, and child consciousness. My readings may be scattered because I'm reading for a lot of different energies as well. So... If it makes sense, it makes sense. It's for those who know. Okay? So, yeah. Your inner child may be suffering. And this new cycle of life that you may be entering, entering may be very healthy for you. It may be a fun time. Uh, fun times are approaching good times are approaching you may have been in a dump you know for a while and now you finally can take a breather take a deep breath and enjoy life you may have been unhappy in the past and just hoping and wishing and praying for change or for opportunity to change your environment and change your, your situation. I feel like the time is now. The time has come for that. For that change for you guys. Alright. So what's the overall energy of this reading? Pull for my angel deck. Some important messages. What does the angels want the entire collective to know? Maybe receiving spiritual um, communi communication or your ancestors may be trying to communicate with you or your spirit guides. So pay attention to any signs, you know, or omens or anything like that. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your surroundings and environment. So I got you are protected from all types of harm. The worst is behind you. I ask that you relax and feel safe. All is well. You're good. Don't worry. You may be weary because everything may be crumbling. And it may be hard for you to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but it's there. It's there, love. So no worries. Every time something bad happens to you, just know that it's all happening for the greater good. It's happening for something better to come in. So no worries, guys. No worries. Okay? Don't worry about nothing. All right. So that was just, you know, a general. So let's tap into your love life. Let's see what what's going on with your love life, guys. Okay? Um, important messages. What does the entire collective, you know, what was a single out there? I'm going to pull a card for singles, and I'm going to pull a card for people that are a couple. So, regarding your love life, for the entire collective, um, important messages regarding romance. What do they need to know? just want to shuffle the cards good. Okay, for singles, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So, yeah, you know what this means. It ain't him or it ain't her. They ain't the one, baby. Baby girl. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> you may be like B. Simone. Baby girl. Shout out to B. Simone. Baby girl or baby boy. 
she ain't the one he ain't the one you may be a little obsessed or this person may be a little obsessed like you're my boyfriend but nah It's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Sorry. It's not. It's like Chris Brown. She ain't true. Okay. So. That answers your question. Is he the one? I really like him. Is she the one? Nope. They're not. Okay. So for my couple. My couples, what are some important messages regarding love and romance for people that are coupled? Hmm. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Playfulness. Uh, when I picked it originally, it was upside down. So, it may not be enough playfulness in your relationship. Have fun. Y'all probably boring. Y'all probably need to spice up y'all relationship. Okay? Don't be a boring. Don't be a boring. You know. Beep. Don't be a boring one. Okay? Spice it up. Get you some lingerie, girl. Or guy, you know, light us some candles. Do something different. Randomly take her on a date or randomly plan something for you guys. Okay? Turn it up. Turn up! Turn up. It should be good. That's for my couples. Alrighty, so uh, we've reached the end of the reading. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by and checking in with the Empress, okay? So, once again, I am Z the Empress. Like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Until next time, peace. Peace. Peace, love, and life, family. Love you. Bye.